Hi guys! Today I filmed a one brand makeup tutorial. I asked you guys if you wanted me to try Perfecting Skin Tint by Glossier or um, the Melt Beauty one and then I ended up buying more things than just the skin tint from Glossier just because I thought I just felt everything was a little bit more affordable which I really liked and I tried the brand some other products that I really love too and so I thought might as well try the whole shebang because they've come out with some new things since I like first got into Glossier. Everything that you see on my face, this is Glossier. Their makeup is very light, very natural, very everyday. If you guys are interested in like what my thoughts and how I feel or just like how I did this look, continue watching. So I'm going to start out with their Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I'm just going to clean that much. Mm. It feels just like a, a moisturizer. So, anyways, saying that everywhere. I feel like I almost put too much. And then I'm gonna take the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. You wanna shake it up first. Apply a couple little strippies. I kinda do it like that. Warm it up. And then I apply it to my skin. I'm doing another layer. And so when I first um, applied this, I kind of thought it was dumb. No offense to Glossier. But I actually really like it now. Um, I feel like it doesn't enhance my pores right in right here. And I don't look like a grease ball by the end of the day, which is really nice. So next I'm gonna go in with their beer. Their stretch concealer, this is in the shade medium. I really like this because it's really emollient. But it's very light coverage. So this is nice for like just running errands, which I'm kind of doing today. Um, or just like every day, very light. Glossier is known for coverage and you just look so fresh. I really like about the brand. Okay, I'll put some on my chin or on my nose. Next, I'm gonna use the boy brow. I have the shade brown or brun. I've used this in the past before. I really like this product. My hair's grown out my natural hair color. I feel like it should have gone black. Kind of messed up my eyebrow. So, and normally, um, yeah, I should have definitely gotten the darker one, but it's okay. I was trying to fix my eyebrows. Definitely cut off literally the end of my brow, but that's okay. There's that. I'm probably gonna go back in with um, a pencil, but um, really natural. I definitely should have gone a shade darker, but it's all good. So next, I'm going to use. I haven't used this in forever because I think it broke me out to be honest. But it's their Halo Scope in quartz. It kind of has this like balmy thing in that center. Oh, should probably warm it up because it's been a hot minute since I've last applied this to my face. And I'm just gonna drag it on my skin where I would normally highlight. So on the high points on my cheeks, I like to create a V on the bridge of my nose and Cupid's bow. Tap that in. Sorry, if I keep like leaning to the left, it's because my mirror is to the left. And um, what I have, my, I have my camera on top of two cardboard boxes and this like other thing and then this, just a couple like decoration, decorative display thingy majiggies. Okay, so now we fresh, we glowing, we're dewy. Um, next, I've been using um, their cloud paints, really like it. We should mix them because they do recommend mixing them. Take a little bit of dusk and then I'm gonna take a little bit of puff. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Oh gosh, okay. Definitely just wasted a bunch of the product just by doing this, so. Um, I'm not sure if there's a better way of doing this, but you know. Like, look how much that is. I'm not gonna use it. It looks so orange on the camera, but it's not. Okay, now I'm gonna smile. And then I like to kind of do a little bit on my nose for that like sun-kissed look. 
You guys, I'm so upset. Look how much there's on my hand and I didn't even need that much. So, but it's really cute. I like it. I'm feeling fresh and dewy. I'm gonna put a little bit more because they don't really have like a bronzer type thing. I guess you could use like, they have another halo scope. Oh shit, put a lot on. Nah, it's all good. I'm just gonna kind of put it everywhere. I guess you could use Dusk by itself as a bronzer a little bit, but oh God, you guys. Yeah, that looks good. I'm just gonna. <laughs> um, I'm gonna curl me lashes here. And then I'm going to put on their Lash Slick Film for Mascara. Oh, I wonder if this is supposed to come off with just water. Maybe they're a uh, jelly cleanser because it says comb through lashes from roots to tips. Use warm water when lensing. We'll find out. It comes in this really cute pink mascara tube. Okay. It's super natural, like, to be honest with you, I don't really notice even me putting on mascara. I mean, it's very subtle. This is a great mascara, definitely for that no makeup makeup look. The mascara, no mascara. Just darkened it a little bit. I'm put a little bit on my lower lashes. Maybe I do, should try another coat. I do like that it's not clumping, but I like how this is like lengthening my lashes, but it just looks like eyelashes. It's another coat. Um, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. They're getting stuck together. Uh, something wonky is happening there. So I didn't buy their eye gloss things or any of their eye, liquid eyeshadows just cause I don't know. I just wasn't really feeling it, I guess. But I was thinking that I could use the cloud paints as um, an eye color, but I probably should have put it on my eyes before I did my mascara. I guess then I wouldn't have wasted so much product that I used on my Mommy. cheeks here. Oh, it's cute. It kind of gives them like a wispy look. Last but not least, I did buy the balm.com. I got it in mint. Oh, it says you can use it on your lips, on your cuticles, on your elbows, on your friend, anywhere that needs some love. Come in this cute little packaging. Put a little bit on my lips. I love lip balm. This feels nice. My lips are all Moisturize. I think I'm gonna use the cloud paint on my lips. Okay. It's cute, but this would basically be a full face of Glossier products. <laughs> Pretty much like nothing there. If you're looking, if you're into that no makeup makeup look, this these products are gonna do it for you. Like there's literally not much to them like coverage wise or color. Something just kind of quick, easy, and light. I'm actually very happy with how my makeup turned out. It's very, it's very me, basically. <laughs> but I like how it looks, just very fresh, natural, very glowy. A lot of people like to describe it as like the girl next door makeup. I did it really, really fast too. So what I really appreciate about the brand is that they really focus on skincare and then makeup and even then their makeup isn't really makeup which is kind of nice though too because it really just enhances your natural beauty which i appreciate about the brand as well especially if you have good skin or if you're on that journey of getting better skin because one thing that i learned just being in like the makeup industry is that if you want your makeup to look good, you gotta take care of your skin first. Another thing that I really liked about the brand is that everything is more on the affordable side. When I was comparing the skin tint with the milk skin tint thing that they have, it's like half the price, which is really nice. And they do free shipping on orders over $30, I believe. Um, And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.